Welcome to Truth, Money, and Freedom. Today is Saturday, April 27th, 2019. Hey gang, there's another story here about uh, human trafficking, more specifically child trafficking. And I just wanted to bring it up and uh, c talk about a couple of concepts in here. Um, we need to be courageous people and we need to talk about this. We need to share uh, this information and make sure more and more people see it. And, um, and then in the end, demand accountability from government, from, you know, you know, the judges, the politicians, and even the bankers, you know, who are a part of this network as well. This is big money, folks. Uh, the essence of evil. Sex with children has become a big business in America. Now, um, I, I'm not going to read this whole thing. Uh, once again, I try not to do that, but I'm going to read the first part here. Children, young girls, some as young as nine years old, are being bought and sold for sex in America. The average age for a young woman being sold into sex is now 13 years old. But I want to concentrate on this as, as early as nine years old. And then I'm going to, um, and of course it says that's America's dirty little secret. But there's one more, and I read the whole article here. There is one more um, paragraph I want to cover. But basically it talks about um, um, how this happens, you know, the sexualization of children that's, you know, within our society, within the media, within advertising, on YouTube even. Um, and it's just everywhere. Um, and it's downright scary. Um, it's uh, something that I think, since we're talking about kids as, as young as nine, and by the way, this applies to boys too. Don't think for a second it doesn't. Um, and this is a problem. We know this. Um, and I, you know, I, I do IT work and I work with law enforcement, you know, on a local level, and they know about this. And they have to deal with this once in a while. Um, but the problem is, you know, once again, on a federal level, it never seems to get broached because these, uh, these monsters, you know, that we call our politicians and our judges, and it's not all of them. Uh, so I want to specify, you know, it's not all of them. And I don't have individual information on every single person in Congress and, you know, what they may or may not be doing with this network. But I will tell you that it seems like um, child molesters uh, like Jeff Epstein get off very lightly in federal courts. And that means the court system is also involved in protecting this network. So I'm going to bring this up again because um, a couple of concepts I want to share with you. First off, uh, kids are being sexualized, you know, by everything from Walt Disney to uh, YouTube and Facebook. And, and uh, kids do it themselves. And, of course, it's done through advertisements and, and very other, you know, various other deals. But I just want to say that, you know, this is something you should discourage in your kids if you're a parent or even if you're a grandparent. You know, if you see, you know, an um, eight-year-old girl wearing makeup, you know, it's just, what's the point, you know? Um, you know, especially when you talk about kids that are, you know, girls that are, you know, 10 through 13 years old, putting on makeup to try and look about six years older. Well, uh, you should discourage that behavior. We tell our kids when they're, when they're young, there are no monsters. And we tell them that so they won't be afraid of the dark so they won't be afraid to go down into the basement and, and uh, you know, go fetch something. Um, so they won't be afraid to go to sleep by themselves in their own rooms. But there are monsters out there. And I think if, if young people are being abducted as early as nine years old, I think that's probably about the right time to explain to them about the real monsters in the world. Um, and I know that a lot of people don't want to have those conversations, but I'm telling you, it's it's becoming necessary that you do now because this is a big problem now kids being abducted in the united states and put into this network is probably rarer than the ones that are coming across our southern border through immigration there's a lot of human trafficking happening through immigration gang i mean let's this is truth money and freedom so this isn't cagey money and freedom we're truth money and freedom uh, that is the truth and a lot of these kids are coming from Central America and Haiti and, uh, you know, uh, probably parts of South America, possibly Asia. Um, but there is a problem right here in America with this issue. And since we've been waiting and waiting and waiting 
for something to happen about this on the federal level while kids continue being abducted, molested, and killed. I think it's time for us to stop waiting for Trump to deal with this and start concentrating on this as a culture. Now, what do I mean by that? This is not a unilateral action plan. You know, it's not a thing where people should be, um, you know, taking things into their own hands. I think this is a thing where it becomes education and awareness. And uh, then basically it becomes easier to take these things down. Um, if, but as, if we as a culture don't want to talk about this because it's so dark, it's so satanic, it's so hideous, you know, we can't talk about this because, you know, holy God, who wants to talk about this, right? Well, if we continue on that vein, as we have for literally decades, then this proliferates. It gets worse. This is a conversation the mainstream media doesn't want to talk about. Yes, they talk about, you know, child predators, but they don't talk about this massive network that's set up by our politicians, that's, you know, protected by our judges. They don't want to talk about that aspect of it. They want to talk about the lone wolf child molester, you know, the priest, you know, in the church or the, you know, the nice guy that lives down the road that no one thought would ever do anything like that. These are the people they go after. The network, you know, this is a larger deal. This is human trafficking, and it goes with drug trafficking. They go hand in hand. Um, this is the one they don't want to talk about. So we need to start talking about this. We need to start actively having conversations about this. And YouTube is hitting my channel pretty hard on my views. And I expect them to continue doing so because YouTube is owned by Google. Google is CIA. Um, so basically I'm asking for help here. If you guys want to start sharing these videos on your platforms, please do so. Let's actually get people talking about this. Guys, I'm not monetized. Uh, I don't care. This isn't about money. It never was about money. Um, but let's go ahead and start doing what we can as citizens to make sure the politicians and judges understand that we know they're involved in this network and that we know they're not going to do anything about it. And we know they don't give a crap about the kids. Uh, kids are commodities to them to be bought and sold. And, I, and by the way, this isn't every judge. This isn't every politician. But it's a lot of them. And we don't know who's who. So we need to kind of start making sure they understand that we're going to hold all of them accountable for this. Because they won't do anything about it. So we need to start doing something about it. And it starts with education and awareness. Please spread this video. I'm going to link the story down below. There's a, a, you know, basically a lot of stuff in here. For instance, um, the author of this article even has, you know, basically amount of money that a child is worth during their quote unquote sexual tenure, uh, being molested, you know, by perverted, sick, satanic, uh, men and women. Um, so you can actually read these stats if you want. I'm not going to go into them. I mean, it just makes my blood boil. Um, and I'm going to start being more courageous, gang. I mean, I haven't covered a whole lot about human trafficking, but I'm going to start covering this uh, a little more uh, frequently. And whenever there's a story that comes out that has pertinent information, you bet I'll be on it, and I will do a report. I will do a YouTube video. So um, at any rate, education is the most important thing. And why, why is it that this network can possibly exist in America? And that's because our politicians and our judges are far too corrupt. They're making money off of it. That's why. Or they're partaking in it. Either way, uh, they're perverted, dark, satanic individuals. And eventually we need to root them out. We need to figure out who's involved. I mean, we know Hillary Clinton's involved. You know, if you need a few names to throw out there. We know Hillary's involved in this network, and therefore Bill is also involved in this network. Who else was flying on the Lolita Express, you know, to Jeffrey Epstein's private little island in the Caribbean? I mean, I don't know. I could probably spend some time looking into it, but I, I do know that Hollywood is in this. I get this, gang. I know the recording industry is into this. I get that, too. But who has the power to cover it up? I mean, let's start there. Because as soon as we disable their ability to cover it up, it'll be much easier to root out where all this evil is lurking. 
and and when it tries to go underground you know basically we'll meet it with equal force um, and we need to literally educate the people and create awareness and start letting politicians know and judges know we're on to them that they're allowing this to happen because they're being paid off um, and so therefore they no longer no longer hold the faith of the American people in that we will literally actively start going after them getting them out of office and start putting people in that will take care of this the satanic network that was put in probably by the CIA is probably where it started I can't prove that but you know you think about all the things the CIA has done with MK Ultra and um, and things along those lines it just makes sense so okay I will link this article below um, and I hope you're all with me on this please share this and uh, let's get the word out and let's start putting out let's get more youtubers out there putting out stories on this stuff let's flood YouTube with more information on you know basically what is happening in this network so we can more easily identify those involved that's all I have for now you guys all have a wonderful day God bless you all mm -hmm.